ought to have the right to choose. Turning back the clock and reopening the debate on when human life begins, it's a dangerous path to take. In reality, over 90% of abortions in Canada are done in the first trimester. So I have a message for the Prime Minister and his party on behalf of our caucus. Turning back the clock and reopening the debate on when human life begins, it's a dangerous path to take. My message is that this issue has been decided. A woman's right to reproductive choice is a human right. And in Canada, in 2012, a woman's right to choose is not up for negotiation. Our leader in 1987, Audrey McLaughlin, spoke out clearly, saying that, quote, limiting the right to the personal care and control of one's body is a violation of a most basic fundamental right, that of reproductive choice. This is about standing up for women, and this is about making sure that women are not further victimized. Reproductive choice is a human right and it's guaranteed by our Constitution. We are not going to allow them to take away our freedom to choose. Mr. Speaker, I want to make it very clear. I do not support this motion. New Democrats do not support this motion. And we will actively fight against any motion or bill that will threaten a woman's right to choose. <laughs>